This evening on SportsCenter, Cleveland Browns quarterback Baker Mayfield will have shoulder surgery ASAP and won't play Sunday. Titans running back Derrick Henry is expected to be back at practice on Wednesday. The Washington football team is set to announce a new nickname on February 2nd. New crew, chief for, new crew chiefs for Noah Gregson and Eric Amarola and a new sponsor for 23-11 years. Good evening, this is SportsCenter, I'm Matthew Molina. Cleveland Browns quarterback Baker Mayfield won't play Sunday against the Cincinnati Bengals so that he can move forward with surgery to repair the torn labrum in his non-throwing left shoulder. Browns coach Kevin Stefanski said Mayfield's surgery could happen as soon as this week. A league source told ESPN that Mayfield could be back in time to participate in OTAs. Mayfield, who has been playing with the shoulder injury since week two, admitted following Monday following Monday night's loss to the Pittsburgh Steelers that he was pretty damn beat up. Mayfield was sacked nine times in the game. The Titans are expected to designate Derrick Henry to return to practice from injured reserve on Wednesday, according to ESPN's Diana Russini. After jogging on the grass in cleats last week and going through an additional workout on Monday, the Titans feel Henry is ready to return to practice. The designation opens a 21-day window for Henry to be added to the 53-man active roster. Titans coach Mike Vrabel said Monday that the Titans were discussing Henry's possible return and will probably make a decision midweek. The Washington football team will announce its new name ahead of, the, ahead of the Super Bowl nearly 19 months after dropping its old one, but team president Jason Wright said it won't be the one that became an early favorite on social media. The team announced Tuesday that it will reveal its new name on February 2nd, 11 days before the Super Bowl. During a podcast in September with ESPN's Adam Schefter, Washington football team co-CEO Tanya Snyder confirmed that the final eight candidates were the Armada, Presidents, Brigade, Red Hogs, Commanders, Red Wolves, Defenders, and keeping the football team name. Those names had previously been revealed, but some team personnel said that it wasn't an official list. On the podcast, Schefter asked Snyder whether those were the candidates, and she replied, yes, but Wright wrote on the team website on Tuesday that although Wolves and Red Wolves by association were fan favorites, they would not work because of trademarks held by other teams. Luke Lambert has spent the last nine years as a crew chief in the NASCAR Cup Series. For the 2022 season, he will move to JR Motorsports to crew chief Noah Gragson in the Xfinity Series. Lambert is coming off a two-year stint with Roush Fenway Racing, leading the way primarily for Chris Busher. With five races remaining in the 2021 Tour, he connected with Ryan Newman, who he spent five years with at Richard Childress Racing. In their time together, the duo won one race, the first Phoenix race in 2017, and made the inaugural Championship Four in 2014. Stuart Haas Racing has bolster, bolstered its competition leadership by promoting Mike Buga Bugawertz to the newly formed role of Performance Director and by adding Drew Blickensderfer, to its crew chief lineup. Bergowitz is an eight-year veteran of SHR who has spent the past six seasons as a NASCAR Cup Series crew chief, most recently with driver Eric Amarola and the number 10 team. He's won with every driver he has been paired with, including SHR co-owner Tony Stewart. His promotion to performance director merges Bergowitz's hands-on experience as a crew chief with his engineering mindset. As a 39-year-old from Lehighton, Pennsylvania, holds a master's degree in mechanical engineering from Penn State University. With Bergowitz's promotion, Blickensdurfer takes over as the crew chief for Amarola and the number 10 team. Blickensdurfer is a NASCAR veteran who, who already has a history with Amarola. He served as his crew chief while together at Richard Petty Motorsports for the last few races of 2016 and then all of 2017 before Amarola departed RPM for SHR in 2018. Blickensdurfer comes to SHR from Front Row Motorsports, where the 45-year-old from Decatur, Illinois, won the 2021 Daytona 500 with driver Michael McDowell. It was Blickensdurfer's fourth NASCAR Cup Series victory as crew chief. He previously guided David Reagan to a win and Matt Kenseth to two victories. And today, 2311 Racing announced Lidos will join the team as a primary partner beginning with the 2022 season. Lidos, a Fortune 500 technology, engineering, and science solutions and services leader with a focus in, 
in the defense, intelligence, civil, and health markets will partner with Bubba Wallace and the number 23 Toyota Camry. The new partnership will reunite Wallace and Lidos, who previously had an affiliation from 2016 to 17 in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. That's a report on SportsCenter this Tuesday evening. This is Matthew Merlino. Have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow morning.